This is Austin with One Wheel Parts and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Ignite Foam Grip Tape for the GT. All we're going to need for this install is going to be some of the Ignite Foam Grip Tape and optionally some of our adhesive remover to remove any adhesive left over by your old grip tape. We recommend to never use heat on the front but if you are stuck in the cold and absolutely have to, use a hairdryer on low and constantly keep it moving. Heat is not your friend. So I like to start off by starting in one corner. This is the most crucial part. Make sure that when you're peeling off your existing grip tape, you are not peeling off any of the additional layers of that sensor, any of the plastic. Make sure that it is not coming up as well. If you damage the third layer of the sensor during the removal process, it's imperative that you remove the third layer and only that third layer. Removal of the third layer has been common practice for the XR and pint foot pads to achieve a more sensitive sensor. When you're pulling it off, never pull directly up on the grip tape either. This can damage the sensor, pull, warp, and stretch it out. Always pull at an angle. When you get to these two little plastic notches, go ahead and make sure none of the plastic is coming up, as well as when you get to the corners, make sure that none of those plastic layers are coming up with the grip tape. Now that you've got the grip tape off, make sure that there is no adhesive left over on that front foot pad. If there is any adhesive, the GT sensor is a lot more sensitive than the XR is, so any sort of dirt, debris, or old adhesive left on there can definitely cause ghosting issues. I recommend using our one wheel parts adhesive remover. We have tested this on multiple foot pads and it is non-reactive, so it is gonna be safe to use on any of our foot pads. Once you've gotten all that off, give it a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol anyway to remove any additional residue and you're ready to install your GT foot pad. So you'll notice on our GT foot pads that there is three relief notches cut into the foam. This is to help lay it flat so it doesn't try and curl up and cause any ghosting issues. When you're installing it, make sure to take those two diagonal notches and line them up with the plastic diagonal notches on the GT foot pad. I like to start from one corner and sort of work my way up to the opposite diagonal corner by walking my fingers up in a sort of pressing motion. So I get the bottom part stuck on there and just walk up in a diagonal motion to prevent any air bubbles from forming to the other opposite corner. Once you've got the foot pad on there, give it a few good presses all over. This will help work out any air bubbles. Our foam is perforated, so anything that's on there will work its way out if you do happen to make an error during install. And there you go, it's that easy to install, but we're not done yet. So go ahead, turn your board on, open up the app. If your board does give you a flashing yellow light, go ahead, turn it back off, press the grip tape down. There's possibly an air bubble or an error with the install. You should be able to press it down, turn it back on, and it'll give you the regular blue light. Go ahead and press on the sensor in various different locations. And you'll notice on the app that there will be a foot pop up engaging the sensor. Make sure that whenever you're pressing and you let go, that foot goes away very quickly. If it does stick and stay on, that means that there is maybe an air bubble or something under there and it was not installed correctly and this can cause ghosting issues. And that's that. This has been Austin with One Wheel Parts. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook.